Hi guys, so today our objective is finding the extra element. Here, if you see it, we have this 7, which is the extra element in a sorted array. So how can we find it? As this element is sorted, we can go through every index one by one and stop when we find the element which is not there. For example, let's go 2 and 2, 4, 4, 6, 6, 7, 8. So here is the mismatch. So we know this the index that is the fourth element. So fourth element is the one where the extra is present. So what about the running time? In worst case, we have to go through all all the element in both areas. So it will take so it will take big O of n. Can we improve over that? Of course we can. Now we will see how we can use divide and concur to help us to reduce running time of the search in or log n. So we will be using binary search to get the our result. So here we have the number of element is 8 in the second array. So we will consider it as the right. So we will start from, from the rightmost and left. So we will calculate the mid, mid which is uh, left plus right minus left divided by 2. So mid could have been written as left plus right divided by 2 but, but in some case an overflow might happen so we are using this. Now just let's go through the algorithm using our binary search. Uh, left should be 1 uh, if uh, we start indexing from 1. So now our right is 8, left is 1. So we calculate the mid value which is 4. So 4 is 8. Now we check uh, in the, with the one, the fourth element in the in the first array. As there is a mismatch, so we can be sure that the our array element is either the mid, this one, or is before that. It's somewhere here. So we continue our search. So we assume that the current element index four is the one which doesn't match so now we'll continue our search on the left part of the array so the left is still one and we'll recalculate right right will which will be this so it's three so it will be mid minus one the previous mid minus one so which is three now we'll calculate the new mid so same formula the new mid is four we'll check with the first array yeah same now we'll move so this is the only element that's remaining we'll update our left left to this element and our right which was 3 is still unchanged and we'll check if they are same as they are both are same and uh, the values are same and uh, we cannot we have finished parsing the both the array so our previous current index which is the answer so hence 4 is the final